we've had a great sale, but all things must come to an end and we need to come back to the dock. So we need to think about what that docking procedure looks like. Because unlike our car, we don't have brakes on our uh, sailboat. So our brake is really about using the wind to our advantage. And we talked about the idea of uh, the no-go zone where we can't sail because the, the sails are what we call luffing. And we talked about uh, if we don't sail our, if we don't trim our sails well or we let them out, they, they can luff and that loses the power. So when we come into dock, we want to be using the wind to our advantage. And in this case, we have this uh, nice large docking area and we have the wind coming down in this direction. So I could be sailing along in this on a beam reach. And to dock, I want to end up docking into the wind as much as I can. So first of all, I need to maneuver my boat to be able to do that. So I'm going to sail along, probably drop off to a broad reach, drive down fairly deep, and turn the boat. And because I turned the boat stern through the wind to the other side, I jibed the boat. And now I can head up. And as I start to head up, I want to be getting rid of my speed, slowing the boat down by letting the sails out. And as I come up to the dock, I want to continue to make sure I'm letting the sails out and then turn the boat right up beside the dock and park it nice and slowly. It's really not any more complicated than that. Let's change the wind direction. The wind is coming in this direction, and I come down. I can't sail that way anyway, right? Because that's right into the no-go zone. So I will have had to sail up this way and come back down this way. Docking in this way doesn't ever really let me depower the boat because the, the sails just won't completely depower and I'm being pushed into the dock. Docking this way puts me in a spot where I'll never depower the boat. I'll be being pushed all the way down. So again, I want to end up being able to dock along the dock facing into the wind. So I will have come up into the mooring area, have tacked down and come down, letting my sails out and starting to turn the boat, letting the sails out some more and then slide up to the wind. We change the wind direction again. Again, what we want to do is end up docking into the wind. So I've come back from my sail. I can sail through here just fine, but I can't dock this way because I'll be, I'll never be depowered. I'll be constantly pushed. So I need to come down and again, I would jive the boat and head back up. And I need to be kind of thoughtful about this. If I come way down here and jive the boat, I'm not going to be able to drive all the way back this far without stalling the boat because I'm in the no-go zone. So probably what I want to do is something more like this, where I head up, jive the boat around, and then come down, depowering myself, and slide up to the dock. 